inspected on uh, the state 10 years ago. Among the 3,000, almost 3,000 lives that were lost that day, 68 were Marylanders, which made Maryland the sixth most impacted state in the nation. They came from 14 Maryland counties and the city of Baltimore. 22 were from Prince George's County alone. Their ages ranged from three to 71, and have one half had military affiliations. And whether they were born here, went to school here, vacationed here, or pursued their education or profession here, they considered Maryland to be their home. And it's only fitting that we create this special place in Maryland for families and friends and fellow citizens to gather and to reflect on the loss that occurred that day. And understand that maintaining our freedom sometimes requires sacrifice. So the memorial's journey uh, began with a request from Governor O'Malley to obtain an artifact from the World Trade Center. Uh, it had been known that the Port Authority was opening up uh, to all of the states and counties and jurisdictions and in fact the world to make artifacts available. On August 27th last year, five of us from the Maryland Public Art Commission went up along with two delegations from the 